Every single day, it seems more likely that spin-off shows are going to happen for Doctor Who. Russell T. Davis said recently that he was building the empire of Doctor Who. What does that mean? That means spin-off shows, thank you very much. But what spin-off shows is he going to make? Well, let's talk about it today. Hello Whovians, Crispy Bro here and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for sticking around. I appreciate you. I do. It's, I, I do, okay? Gosh. So a few weeks back, I put up a YouTube community post asking what spin-off shows do you guys want to see? And my goodness, I got 282 comments. Wow, now you think that's a lot of spin-off shows. Yes, yes it is. Yes it is. So let, let's, let's get into it. But before we do, please consider subscribing. We are trying to reach 1 million before Christmas. So get me to 1 million subs, please. Thank you so much. And of course, like the video as it does help the algorithm. All right, let's get on with it. Eighth Doctor series. Seriously, we need more of Paul with 59 likes there. Okay, so that pretty much was all of the 200 comments. Pretty much. All of them said, we need an 8th Doctor special. We need an 8th Doctor series right the heck now. Paul McGann has expressed multiple times that if he was offered, he would absolutely do it. So throw a bit of that Disney money on there. Why not? Just do it. I do believe there is a real cult following for the eighth Doctor because he's almost an enigma in the Doctor Who world because he had like his one TV movie. But you know, he he represents classic Doctor Who. He represents new Doctor Who and he is very, very prominent in the Big Finish audios. So all of that, you know, get classic new fans and Big Finish fans. We're all on board for an eighth Doctor series. Make it happen, Mickey Mouse. An actual series for the Eighth Doctor. McGann deserves more. I agree. I would love to see a mini series exploring the Eighth Doctor and the Time War. Make it a bit darker. And Eight is one of my favourite Doctors. Absolutely. Please, for goodness' sake, Paul McGann, come back. Amy and Rory's lives in New York. Historical slice of life would be so cute. And slash or any other companion's life after the Doctor. I would love to see what the Ponds are up to. I really would. I really would. I think, you know, that the PS video, um, what was it called? I can't remember. Was it just called PS? That Chibnall wrote. P dot S dot Chris Chibnall. It was just called PS. Okay, so in that we kind of got a hint as to what um, Amy and Rory are up to. And I think Arthur Darville did a cute video for the Doctor Who lockdown back in 2020. Um, and that, that was really, really interesting. I think that might be the most viewed video from that whole um, lockdown experience. Also, as I'm going through this, please leave some more suggestions down below. I'm all ears. An animated limited run series exploring alternate timelines would be cool, I think. They could really push the envelope at not much expense and explore the possibilities that couldn't be done in live action. Something in the vein of the modern The Clone Wars animation style would be awesome. I like this. I think you're kind of suggesting like a what if scenario and I've always wanted to see a Doctor Who what if. I think, I think that would be a really fun concept. What if Clara never went into the Doctor's time stream? What if that Ood never visited the Pons? house we'll just never know what if orphan 55 never existed we just don't know a spin-off with jenny would be interesting absolutely it would be and it was so heavily rumored a while back this year that it was coming back like confirmed like um georgia moffat or however you say your name georgia tenant now she posted something to her story and everyone went crazy but nothing has happened thus far but you never know someone said this before but martha and yaz would be brilliant i think it would be unlikely but them interacting would be very very interesting i think Think so too one time lady I would love to see that show because Martha and Yaz they're still they're still just kicking about we don't know what they're up to and I would like to know please ace she needs and deserves a spin-off and Sophie Aldred has said she is willing to do it absolutely I think that uh, Sophie Aldred was an absolute highlight of power of the doctor for me I haven't seen that much classic who with her in it but I really enjoyed her presence absolutely love to see her do a show would it be a darker show would it be a more family friendly show who knows it could be a talk show an ace talk show and I'd still watch it this one is not necessarily a spin-off, but imagine an after show of sorts that airs at the end of every episode where various Hootubers and other Doctor Who fan creators talk about the episode and interview the cast. P.S. We should definitely do that. Nerd Den, that would be insane. I, I would love a, an official after show. We kind of have one here in Australia and I think I might make a video on that next year. Um, but yeah, I'm down. Where do I audition? If totally Doctor Who's coming back, I want to audition for that. Thank you. Pots and Puddles. 
Bill and Heather return to Earth after traveling the universe for however long and try to live a normal life, loosely inspired by WandaVision, perhaps framed as a sitcom where Bill wants this normal life more than Heather does, leading to tension. Throw in an alien conspiracy in the background, Bill will eventually have to stop and maybe a Nardole cameo somehow, because of course, I think it would make a great little limited series. I just love the title, Pots and Puddles. Pots and Puddles, that's so, that's so good. That's so good, and I love One Division. So, where do I sign? You want me to sign? Here's your contract, mate. You're bloody, you're bloody well signed. A day in the life of Jackie Tyler. That's it. Just a show about her. More laundrette scene, more floaty dressing gown scenes, and a lot more aggressive Christmas trees. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, there's a strange man in my bedroom. I really want to see the Bannerman Road gang back together. Luke, Sky, Clyde, and Rani saving the world from alien threats? Yes, please. I really do miss that gang. I really, really do miss that gang. I think the Sarah Jane Adventures is an absolute gem of a show, and unfortunately, it, it can't come back due to the passing of Elizabeth Sladden. And I don't, I don't know how I feel about the idea of them possibly reviving that because it definitely wouldn't be the same without her presence. But maybe they could have something um, in the future where those characters can come back. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Bannerman Road. Ah. Uh, I want to live there. I saw a tweet once saying that they wanted to do a Torchwood show set in 1982. And ever since I've seen that, I haven't been able to get it out of my head. Put go the full mark and turn it into some 80s style cop drama. Ooh, I like the idea because if they're going to do anything Torchwood related, which is looking not that likely right now, or maybe it is the most likely, I don't know. I don't want to get into the Torchwood stuff yet. But I think, yeah, absolutely. Turn it on its head. Do something different. Take a risk. And I feel like now is, is an interesting time to take a risk with Doctor Who. You know, if we're going to expand the universe, we need some crazy ass shows and I'm all for it. The Fugitive Doctor to have a series or the pre-Hartnell intended Doctors to have a series showing what they were like and stuff like that and possibly their lives on Gallifrey. Look, I think the closest thing we're going to get to that is the uh, Fugitive Doctor audio series that is coming next year, I think. Um, and that is uh, going to be produced by our very, very good friend of the show, Dominic G. Martin. So I'm excited for that. But yeah, if that can get a live action, like I said, Sign me up. But hey, let me know in the comments below your suggestions for a spin-off show. It could be anything. The Empire is being built right now. What do you want to see in it? Do you want a class series two? Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, please let me know down below. And that is going to do it for today. Please like this video. Please subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you next week for the last video of 2022. Anyway, allons -y!